I am a member of the Wolfpack community and NC State alumni, so go Wolfpack. Um, so I really thought about the wolf as a symbol for kind of the base of this piece, uh, which you will see here in the corner. And then I kind of added in um, a couple of indigenous, what I call Easter eggs, uh, into the design of the wolf. The wolf actually encapsulates um, Eastern woodland florals kind of coming to life out of his mouth. I thought that would be a really kind of cool way to um, demonstrate that. So you'll see here in the center um, eastern woodland florals which were really well known throughout the whole entire east coast. So you'll see here many indigenous flowers to the U.S. If you're driving along a backcountry road in North Carolina you might notice cattails. A lot of folks don't think that Hmm, a strawberry is indigenous, but a lot of the fruits and plants and um, you know even the corn that you enjoy today are possible because of indigenous seed keepers and people who have kept um, these plants for a millennia. So you'll notice uh, behind the eastern woodland florals and foods that you'll see what's called the pine cone patchwork, which is a huge symbol in Lumbee culture in Lumbee regalia that we wear um, for powwows and other events and even in our jewelry and other things, it's a huge symbol for the Lumbee people. I just think about, you know, um, how much indigenous culture is embedded into American culture, but we don't think about it as indigenous culture when it actually is. Hopefully you see it as a really fun piece, but also as one that kind of makes you think about um, what indigenous people have brought to today's culture. So there are 574 federally recognized tribes in the United States. The Lumbee tribe has federal recognition, but we do not have access to federal benefits as a result of the Lumbee Act of 1956, which has created this complex relationship with the U.S. government. We've been fighting for our full federal recognition for decades now, and our bill actually is, has re-entered the House and has passed the house and we're waiting to get, but we always get to this point. We always get to the point where we pass the house, but we don't get the Senate vote. So we're still waiting on full federal recognition, which is our inherent right as indigenous people to be able to claim this land, the sovereignty of this land, and also to get the benefits that come along with claiming our sovereignty to this land.